I was really excited by the programming. It's really diverse. There's a lot of stuff you get to work on, your voice, the body, all types of body work, meditation, and sensitive subjects, like through fun exercises, fun practices. I really like the sessions with Seth in particular and with the band Urubu were incredible, very powerful. To have live musicianship with the, with the DJ music is just on another level. Ah, it's a great space. It's just been super good to dive into that space. In the events, in the dance, to free myself such energy being built up in that space by the group and the DJ and creating that moment. The live music is so powerful. The percussions and the drum bring a real energy where they're on their own, you know, celebrating that energy of life. Ecstatic dance festival, just all my favourite things. It feels a kind of melting pot of movement-based practices. It feels like we can float between just yumminess in one corner around a fire, then beautiful space where we can roll around on the floor with music and lighting. Then there's the sauna, delicious food. I find Seth's, the way he holds space, extra special, and that's what's always drawn me to his events in particular. The mixture of workshops on offer mean that you can do something restful like the sound bar, or you can do something high energy with the ecstatic dance. Ecstatic dance has been a bit of a revelation. I've done a few, but I haven't been that impressed, but now I'm impressed. <laughs> and this one had just such an amazing atmosphere. The musicians were amazing and the music was sensational. Dance floors were just erupting. You should come. <laughs> been such a great experience. A lovely community of people. Just amazing to get to move my body so much. Really great music. Really good range of different workshops. I feel like it was kind of curated quite carefully so there'd be sort of high energy in the morning and then kind of into some restful sessions and then kind of ramping up the energy in the evening again. I think there's something really lovely about just dancing without having to use alcohol or drugs to kind of relax into it. The fact that Beth seems to understand the bioenergetic side of things, which is my area as well, and understanding the journey that people need to go through to really get their releases and to be able to feel safe and grounded at the beginning and at the end. Really important journey. It's not just playing music. There's a whole science to it. These kind of events give you tools to be able to take out into the world, to function at a higher level and to feel safe and to feel more empowered. Really healthy relationship with everybody uh, in all the interactions because of the release that's happening on the dance floor and in the sessions in a very held space with very professional practitioners. I'm bored of conversations with people on drugs. I'm just like, ah, I'd rather just actually connect with people. Being in a space where people aren't using drugs, it's quite refreshing. I feel really enlivened. We do sharings every day. It's been really touching actually to see people's journeys. And sort of seeing, for some people who've never been in this kind of world, what a huge thing it is to be in spaces where people can authentically communicate take part in self-development workshops and go into quite sort of deep places in a held way. Just seeing the kind of really profound impact, seeing people going from kind of quite closed and maybe quite fearful and one person talked about finding it quite hard to make eye contact. And then just five days later, just seeing how much openness, expressiveness and playfulness emerged was really, really beautiful. If you want to experience being at a festival but at a retreat at the same time, this ecstatic dance festival was that. You know you're having a good time, right? I haven't looked at my phone once. I don't know where it is. I don't know what day it is or how many days I've been here. 
I've had the best time.